Hi there, Todd Domke here, Product Manager for SOLIDWORKS at Hawk Ridge Systems. As we look through the new improvements and enhancements made to SOLIDWORKS for version 2015, uh, there's one that's a little bit buried. It's not a very glamorous one with a bright, shiny new icon on the toolbar that you're going to recognize. However, it's going to show up when you expect it least, but when you need it the most. And it has to do with assembly, mates, and references, and it's really going to save some time for you here. All right, so let's just uh, take a look at this assembly first so we can kind of see how it goes together. And I'm going to set up the problem, then we're going to see how in 2015 that problem practically goes away. Okay, so there's a lot of these cylindrical parts all mated together using a common reference. Okay, and I've saved those mates in my favorites folder just so we can see them clearly. But if you look at the purple reference, on the part with the numbers, it shows all these cylindrical parts are sharing uh, a mate reference with that one face, that cylindrical face on the purple part. Okay, that's common. You got it, one common mate reference used by several other parts. Okay, so now let's look at a common thing that can happen. Let's say uh, maybe to better seat the parts or for better function that just a straight drill here is not going to do the trick. So I've come up with some new machined feature here that's going to help those parts work a little bit better. But this is an additional, a new feature now that's wiped out that existing cylindrical face. So those of you who've been working on assemblies for a while probably know what's coming next, right? Here it comes. All right, whoa, one little change and look at, I just broke all those mates. Okay, and now we can see why from that exploded view, right? That face that all these mates were using is now no longer in that part. It's been wiped out by a new feature. Okay, so let's go fix this first one. No way around it. We got to fix it. And I'll hide some components here so we can, uh, again, better see what's happening. Okay, so there's the mate reference that, that, one, that this part's using. Again, though, the missing face is missing. It's not there. So I'm going to get rid of that from the selection, and I'm going to point it to this new face. This will work just as well here. Okay, tells me that'll work. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Where did this window come from? I've never seen that before. Well, this is the only time you'll see it, is now once you replace or repair one of these mates, SOLIDWORKS in the background knows that there are several other broken mates that were using that same missing reference. So the fact that I've repaired it for this one mate, it now gives me the option to use that same repair for all those other broken mates. So now it's going to basically go through what I just did, and it's going to do that for all those other mates. So now all those other mates reference that new face that I've selected. So definitely saving a lot of time there. It's similar to the replace sketch entity feature that was introduced last year. And so again, this just goes a long way uh, during our, our daily work here uh, of making it a much more pleasant experience, taking some of those things, uh, repairing uh, mates and removing some of that more tedious stuff to make things a lot easier in assemblies in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Watch this space for new videos as we discover more great new things about the latest release of SOLIDWORKS.